Hey guys, just wanted to make a very short video on this subject. You know, when I joined YouTube 11 years ago on April 10th, 2007, one of the very first things I did was I wrote up a very long statement of faith in the About section. And I did that because I wanted people to know upfront what I believed and why. And since then, I have been encouraging people to do just that, not just those who make videos on YouTube, but also those who listen to teachers here on YouTube. If you're going to listen to a teacher for any amount of time, you want to know exactly what they believe. And if you're going to join a church, almost every church today has a website. And so before you join that church, I would encourage you to go on the website and see exactly what it is that they believe, okay? See what they believe about the gospel. Um, what they believe about the great doctrines, the essential doctrines of the Christian faith. See exactly who it is that they're associating with and um, just anything that you can because you don't want to be surprised. You don't want to find out later on that they are denying essential doctrines of the Christian faith. And the reason I'm saying all of this is that um, it's been very alarming over the last few years, especially here on YouTube, but I also know I've heard about it on Facebook and, and um, other platforms. It's been very alarming watching people who you thought were sound um, suddenly denying essential Christian doctrine. We have people denying the um, eternality of the lake of fire. They're denying uh, that um, unbelievers are going to be tormented in the lake of fire for all eternity and now they're buying into annihilationism, which of course is a Seventh-day um, Adventist doctrine. We have people who are now denying the Godhead, the Trinity, you know, denying um, that there one God, that there's one God, but three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Father is not the Son, Son is not the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is not the Father. It's one God revealed in three persons. We have people who are denying that uh, certain books of the Bible, um, that certain books should be in the Bible, all right? Which, of course, is an attack on inerrancy, and it is an attack on the infallibility of, um, of the Scriptures. And we have people just denying so many things, and you never would have known about it when you first started listening to them, but now that they've been teaching for a while, it's slowly coming out. And that's why I think it's so important to um, get a statement of faith up front, because then you will see exactly what it is that, that, um, that they believe. And you don't want to get just something general. You want to get something in depth, all right? Because people are very good at hiding what they believe. Um, people who are teaching um, or who have false beliefs, they are very good at hiding exactly what they believe until you are so deep into their teaching. And then slowly they start introducing a lot of damnable doctrines uh, to you. So, again, if you're going to join a church, if you're going to listen to any kind of teacher for any amount of time, you want to know exactly what they believe and why they believe it. And if you're teaching here on YouTube, then you, I think it's very important for you to have a statement of faith for people to know exactly what you believe and be very um, clear, be very precise as to what you believe, all right? Um, again, it's just amazing when I see exactly what it is that people are now denying, what people are now buying into, you know, what they're now rejecting, and um, it's just um, it's just crazy out there. So you need to be good Bereans. We all need to be good Bereans, all right? We all need to search out the scriptures and um, make sure that at the end of the day, the Bible, and only the Bible, is um, our final authority, all right? Never put any teacher on a pedestal. Okay, you don't want to raise up any kind of golden calves in your lives because unfortunately a lot of these teachers have become golden calves to a lot of people. You know, you just, um, you cannot say anything about these teachers. Don't say anything, you can't touch them, don't, don't um, try to correct them in any way, shape or form. And as I said, they have become golden calves to their followers. So, know exactly what these people believe, alright, before you start listening to them. Um, check them out. Um, be good Bereans, all right? And um, you, you're going to save yourself a lot of trouble in the long run, all right? So again, I just wanted to make a very short video on that, um, on this topic, something I've spoken about a lot in the past, and um, I think it's uh, something um, for us to be reminded of um, quite often, all right? So uh, be good Bereans and search out these te teachers to know exactly what they believe and why they believe it. God bless.